Alright guys, there was a mysterious, like a silicone valley, kind of like firm or something, that bought land uh, near like an Air Force base, guys. And they've they just been investing, guys, like investing pretty hard. In, uh, and nobody really knew who they are. Um, I don't think nobody still knows who they are. But it's quite interesting that um, this happened, guys. Like, what what is going on? Why are they buying a bunch of land? The, the, apparently, the sources are saying that they're actually buying, like, a, a they're going to build a city. Like, a whole city. Which is good, you know? It's good for the economy if we get a city. I mean, guys, where I live, there's so much desert around me, man. And, uh, it'd be good if we had, like, a nice, more more cities, I guess. I, you know what I mean? Because that land is just inhabited. In, uninhabited, I guess you can say. But let's check it out. And Stephanie is with us tonight with the latest on this controversy and strange story, Steph. Yes, certainly, Dan. This is the first known meeting the CEO of Flannery Associates has had with Bay Area congressional leaders since this all started. After years of unanswered questions, widespread speculation, and concerns over national security, tonight the firm finally revealed why they've been so secretive. The mystery shrouding a nearly billion dollar acquisition so yeah, the Silicon Valley tech giants, they're, they're trying to, you know, expand their, um, horizons, I guess you can say. You know what I mean? ...of Solano County farmland encroaching Travis Air Force Base is finally starting to reveal itself. Uh, they told me that it was critical uh, that they uh, develop the shroud of secrecy in order to uh, to make shroud of shroud of secrecy by the way well wow. makes it seem more mysterious the way he's talking like that you know what i mean to, to, to make and once they got the land uh the critical mass of the land uh then they then they were able to uh to be uh, more open uh than they had been for the first time in five years jan schrammick a former goldman sachs trader and current CEO. Oh, they got like a linkedin you know you know they're they're uh you know they're like you know about their business you know what i mean a linkedin that's like only for professional like people career oriented you know dudes ceo of flannery associates met one on it's like the whole business community's uh platform you know what i mean it's it's awesome it is awesome one with congressman mike thompson to explain his vision to create a utopian city. They tell me that they want to do it in, uh, in a way that's uh, environmentally uh, appropriate, uh, a way that will be energy efficient. Uh, it'll be a green development. It will not be in conflict with uh, any of the military uh, installation at uh, Travis Air Force Base. Would you say this meeting was productive? Did they come to you with specific plans on how they hope to tackle this? No, we didn't talk a lot of specifics. Hey, bro. So, they said they're not trying to interfere with the, you know, normal operation. I mean, that's that should be standard, right, guys? That's good, that's good. I don't think we should be that worried, right, guys? It's just expanding on um, areas that need to be expanded on. Know what I mean? As a matter of fact, I'll, I, I raised a couple of questions with them that uh, they couldn't answer specifically. Thompson says he asked Ramek questions about the agricultural work that's done in the area. I don't think they had a, a, a clear understanding of the significance of And uh, it was my All right. impression. All right, guys, I was, uh, I was doing a dead man mode breach, so that's why I was uh, on it for a second. Bear back. I mean, I'm right here. Sorry. <laughs> and that they kind of poo pooed the agricultural value of uh, of the land. Public records obtained by the. Bro, it feels like I'm listening to a podcast for a second. I used to listen to like a, a nutrition podcast and they talk about stuff like uh, you know, 
they would talk about how their product was the best, like their uh, grass-fed beef and stuff. They used to be into like the carnivore diet and stuff. The IT show Flannery has purchased more than 55,000 acres since 2018. In many cases, nearly double or triple what it's worth. Hearing from some of the farmers that they were being threatened. Uh, these are family lands. Um, I'm thinking, you know, you're, it's like, who are you guys? In May, Flannery filed numerous lawsuits against Solano County farmers, alleging an illegal price fixing conspiracy. The firm is seeking $510 million. Wait, they're trying to sue them? What? No way. In damages. And they claim that uh, everybody uh, who has been sued has the financial resources to defend themselves in court. Sources have confirmed to the I-team Flannery is backed by the heavyweights of Silicon Valley, including billionaire venture capitalist Michael Moritz, billionaire businesswoman Loreen Powell Jobs. Yeah, bro, these all look like some freaking elites, bro. And LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman, among others. Link some LinkedIn co-founders, what? Just finding out. We're screwed, guys. I mean, I think it's for a good cause. I, mean, I know the full specifics, guys. That there are these billionaires and wanting to put a city in Solano County? Uh, no. What, what, what's the, you know, where's the infrastructure going to come from? What about water? I think it's pie in the sky. Uh, we know this area. I've talked to a very seasoned developer in California. I said, what do you think of it? He said, keep in mind that the land's about one-tenth of the actual cost of building the city. You're looking at a situation where... <laughs> Bro's lagging out on their newscast. Maybe a quarter of the land, actually about 40% of what they purchased is, is a wind farm. We're talking about giant turbines. So the other maybe 25, 30% of it is a gas field with hundreds of gas wells, uh, many of which are now uh, closed off. But that's a very significant environmental issue. All, all in all, Hey, windmills are good though, right? Don't they generate energy? When I was in Oregon, there I saw so many of them. Uh, there still are some in uh, where I live, California, but... Good luck to them. A survey that was sent out last week that local officials believe is tied to Flannery hinted this project would be done without taxpayer money. I, I don't think that's possible to do. Based on the knowledge you have now, can you confidently state Flannery does not pose a threat to national security? I can say that... There are at least two people associated with Flannery who uh, have a story. Uh, and as I said, as this unfolds, uh, we'll find out if that story holds up. Thompson also added the firm plans to open three district offices in Fairfield, Vallejo, and Vacaville, where they will have all their plans laid out for people to see. He also mentioned the firm told them they want to conduct town hall meetings so the community can come out and ask questions directly. So, a lot Dang, bro. <laughs> I mean, if it's a new city, I hope it's, you know, good infrastructure. Because, you know... Well, we need new stuff like that. Maybe something like high tech would be cool. A lot of moving parts yeah, here. Wow. I do want to mention I've been in touch with Flannery since then tonight, and they've indicated tonight's meeting is one of many that will be scheduled over the next few weeks. Just getting started then. Yeah, exactly. All right. Thank you, Stephanie. But yeah, guys, that's a video. Yeah, it's a story, all right, in quotation. Someone said, Congressman, I agree. Uh... No mass red residents are going to wait, want to live right next door to an active 24 7 operations military airfield. What the? That's such a long comment. Bernie Farmers tells me there's something unethical, legal going on. Water rights. How much of this tope is going to. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sleepy, guys. That's a video. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out the next. Uh... What was I going to say? Check out the. um... Check out, um, I do all my reactions live on Twitch. Check out ABC7 uh, News Bay Area in the description. Later, guys.